Hi everybody, it's Saturday, April 1st, so April Fool's Day. We're not going to pull any shenanigans because we don't do that here. And we are, it's about um, about 3 o'clock and it's, it's almost close to 70 degrees and wow. Here in Connecticut, it's very welcome this nice weather. We are in our favorite undisclosed location. We don't really like to be that group that has undisclosed locations. We have one. This is it, and as you can see, it's super squatchy. The water's running really high, and we're in on a path. Uh, it's very mushy, and we don't see that anybody's been back here in quite a while. So let's get in there and see what we can find. Oh, hey, and shout out, Mark. Thank you for finding that EVP. We love it. You've got to come out with us sometime. We got a good place for that stuff. We love comments, so if you know if you see something in our videos, let us know, you know, and uh, we will definitely follow up. This place, this place, this place had a squatch sighting uh, reported to CSIS, and as you can just see, we got a lot of pines here. Man, let's get back there. This is. This is one of the most beautiful places. And you know, it's, it's said of trout that trout live in beautiful places. Well, so does Squatch. Squatch lives in beautiful places. And wow, it's, it's really nice. Let's, we'll get a little further in and do a howl and some fall touch, but you can see that's as squatchy as it gets in Connecticut. Well, we'll go back and look at that print. Thing. You know, one of the things about getting to a place that you've never seen, never been to before, is you get this. I think this is about, what do you think, do a howl here? And we're gonna go check out uh, the camera first and found what might be a potential print. But I gotta tell you, if you're into trout fishing, you can see the bugs here, so you match the hatch in this river here, you are gonna get some trout. Let's do a howl. Okay, I just had a drink here. Let's try this drink of water. That's what this is. Well, Gatorade. <laughs> you know we're coming swimming here in the warmer weather. This place is awesome. I'd rather swim in a river like this than anything else. Period. You can have your pools. I took my dive lessons in a pool. 
Yeah, you can swim in that soup all you like. Thank you. Oh, wait. For that fella, oh, we love you. We love everyone here. That fella that said on our videos, I guess we'll go back to the hunting channels, is that yes, I think that's a very good idea because we don't hunt. We don't carry any firearms, nothing. We're out here, we just wanna get the evidence. So, you know, that's what we're into. If you're into finding places to hunt deer and stuff like that, then I guess you go find the hunting channels. But if you guys out there, the rest of you, wanna find Squatch and other cryptids, stay with us. Those are married cats, but these are not. Stay out of here. Oh, we got some tracks here. This one looks like a turkey. And this looks like deer going along the water. In the water. Definitely deer, big one. And they cross right here, we shot this one. Okay, so this is our new swimming hole. What do you think, camera person? Look at this. Let's not overlook this. I was following tracks, but. You could tell it's deep. You can tell it's sandy. Oh, you wanna go, f I'm telling you, man, there's gotta be some, oh, there's gotta be some monster fish in here. Look at it. Thesis approved swimming hole right here. Yeah, camera person, and you can hear, I can see the songbirds over there. I can't identify it. Uh, but that, uh, my guess is that bird's eating the insects that are flying all over the place. Oh, this is gorgeous. Woo! smell of this place. You want to take a break here for a minute, camera person? Yeah. So, we have a hare. Uh, boy. It's hard to tell what that is. What kind of... Maybe squirrel? Maybe squirrel. I wonder if those aren't owl pellets. And then those would be the hair of mice. And the rain sort of opened them up. Let's look up and see what we got. No, I don't think that is. Something like your dog would, like this guy here, he would vomit up after eating an animal and just sort of that. Um, but there's a track here somewhere. We're gonna find it. Okay, here's this depression. And it looks to be fairly old. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move the leaves away. Uh, um, I'm gonna go with no because there's a weird line here. It's just a depression. I don't know. It's, it's like round. Maybe a horse came through here in the winter and then it just sort of expanded as it melted. But we got that. This place we have a squatch report. We're gonna maybe someday reveal where we are, but for now we have an ongoing investigation here. We have a series of investigations. And uh, when we're done with that, we'll let everybody know where we are. I, maybe. <laughs>
hold up here, camera person. Hold up. I'm going to go check this out. This is pretty gnarly, um, but I can hear there's a lot of rapid water down there. decided to go one way and I decided to go through a North Vietnamese army tunnel. So now I'm officially a lerpa on the long range patrol from the veterans. You know, we love you veterans. We love the veterans. Look at this place. Are you kidding me? These are thorns. These waterfalls are not on the Connecticut Department of Tourism's list of places to go. This is bordering. This water's from the MDC, that's all I'm gonna say. Looks incredible. We are definitely off trail. Even the dog can't get through this stuff. You could see these prickers here, the wild roses. Wild roses everywhere. Look at this guy here. That's nothing but solid, right? And as you see, we're not even on the path. Man, the poor hound. Oh man, this place. This is one of the squatchiest places, but visually, just from the raw, rugged landscape that I've ever been to. It's, uh, this is one of the squatchiest places I've ever been to. Just the look of it, the amount of, of protected forest land here, the forage base. Wow. 4.8. Four, four point eight five on the squatch meter, which we innovated. Wow! Uh, you love it here, camera person. Do you love it here, camera person? We'll get some call taps. We're gonna just. We're gonna just go off tray um, off camera and just enjoy this spot for a little while. So we'll pick it up in a couple minutes. We have got to just free in your face, Kent Paul. Waterfall right here, undisclosed waterfall in Connecticut. So we're bringing you this stuff. We could get you here, you know. At the low fee of $99.99 or something. We'll get you to this stuff. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna soak up the sun here. I mean, <laughs> we're getting sprayed. Somebody else knows about this spot too, so we've sworn her to secrecy, and uh, she's out trying to enjoy the day. And my dog is messing that up. But there you have it, folks. 
One of Connecticut's great waterfalls. Not on the map. It's about getting out there. We're gonna find something today. All right, we're gonna continue. Come on. We're gonna continue. Wow, this place. I mean, wow. I'm just very impressed. One person and a dog. We're gonna do a tick check because um, it's that season. They're out all season, but we're gonna get up there to a little more of a level place. Wow, I love it here. Not only do we love it here, but he loves it here. That's probably something that stinks really bad. That would be my guess. So we come across this thing here uh, made when this tree fell over there's already acorns and there's something's using this and of course something wouldn't look at this and look at all this pegmatite here it's everywhere so there's a good chance you could find yourself some tourmaline or something cool here we're gonna continue on this trail